have been placed as a structural equivalent models. But for PLS, we call partial least square. It means they are based on OS, in the OS, or literally least square regressions. It's like to predict. So if you would like, like what he asked, if you have a strong theory, theoretical background, and then you can use SEM, then it's CB, and most, this one. So this one, they require a very strong theory. Support. Yes, yeah, support. Before you can run the SEM. Or we call theories oriented. Theories oriented. Yes. So when you use the CB SEM, we call theory oriented. You need to have a very strong theoretical background. And then you can use this one. But for smart PLS, they are predictive rather than theory oriented software. Yes. This is smart PLS. Predict.
So it's very simple. So if you would like to learn more about all that, it is the basics equations. This one. But it's very useful. A lot of people are using OS. So now let me show you how to use it. If you did not have installed in your computers, then you can just you? I have installed this one. Have you find the smart bills on your desktop? No. Yeah, we have in the main computers. Really? No, smart bill is smart. No. Last time we have it. Maybe we start. Oh, yeah, then we reset. You can try to try smart bills. If not, then we just watch it. It's allowed. Yeah, okay, okay. So. Smart PLS you can apply and free for you 30 days. Okay. But these computers, you know, every time you... Well, yeah, yeah, when you... Yeah, we, we have ever installed. Yes. If we close it, they will yeah. be... Yeah, restart it. Smart PLS, yeah. they have two versions. Version 2 and version 3. If you don't have money to buy it, you use version 2. You just email it and then we give you the code. And then it's full license. But version 2, the interface is not very beautiful. Then they are black and white. But if you would like to use Smart PL3, and then there are two ways. One, you use a trial for one month, free everything. Or you can use the student version, free forever. But the sample size is less than 100, it means 99 sample size limited. So it depends which one would you like to use. So let me open the Smart PL3. If you're familiar with animals, so smart here is very similar to animals. It's not much different. So ours This is an example in our textbook, textbook here. Yeah. And so in this model, they okay. in chap <coughs> uh, chapter twelve, chapter twelve. In this textbook, smart yes. yeah, we have we already share share. The e book, okay? This one is in chapter 5. You will find these models. Yes. Yes, these models. Chapter 5? Yes, chapter 5. And also, the data set they also, also tell you that if you would like to have a data set, you just go to the link and you can download it. So, these models, they will show the data and all the step by step and the table, okay? This is an example in this textbook. And maybe. Three or months ago, they have a speech here in Vietnam, and Julia already attend that seminar. Okay. I mean, this also have a workshop in Penang, and Julia may attend there. So let let me introduce what is formative, what is reflectors. When not talking about animals, that is reflect. So how do you like to look like? So you see these arrows, they point up, they point up to the construct. So this is called formative, remember. But when we use animals, the arrow, this one will point up to this dimension, right? So that is we call reflective. So it's different. So what is different between formative and reflective? You can refer to this textbook. They will this explain very clearly. And you cannot use the data from reflectives and then apply into the formative. No, it is wrong. But you will get the result. But this is wrong. It's like in SPS. We call rubbish in, rubbish out. Whatever you put in the SPS, they always give you the results. They always give you the output, but it's not correct. Right? You need to understand what is behind the data. So the whole construct, they try to understand the company reputations, whether the company reputation impacts on customer loyalties or not. 
So in the company's reputation, they divide into four main dimensions. We have the qualities, that mean the qualities of the products. Preferences, the customer preferences. This is CSR, Corporate Social CSR, Corporate Social Responsibilities. And also attractiveness, that mean attractiveness of the company. And this is competencies and also likeness. They mean competence of the company, also likeness of the company. And customer satisfaction and customer loyalties. So let me create a new project. And then I discuss. So if you have the data, last time I shared the data. Let me try to find the data. And then you name it. Yes. Oh, this one. See? So when you create a new project, they will show here PS. So they say that will click to import the data. It's different from MOS. MO you need to attach the data, right? But smart here, you just double click here. For example, like I just double click, and then this is my data. The data file is can be CSV or text. CVS, yes. CSV. Yes. And also Excel, as depend. But C the most CSV file over TXT file. Yes. Okay. The most popular. Raw data. Yes. And then you okay. just open it. And then what is the data file now? You can use the full data the same. Okay, so when you attach the data first, they will show you the indicators, the indicator correlations. Very quick. Raw data, this is your raw data. Raw data, text yes. file. Text. So you will see, they are separate each other by semicolon. Here, they will show you how many sample size you have. 3, 400. Oh no. 344 indicator policies. No missing values. If you have missing values, they will tell you. Okay? So after you know your data, and then you come back to the projects here. Double click. So now you need to draw the constructs, the latent variables. But in Smart PRS, if you would like to draw your latent variables, you just click on this one, latent variable. Yes, and you just do it like Click, and it will become great like this. And if you copy, you just click again, they will become copy. Just click, then just click again, they will become copy again. And if you were to move, you move your need to, to select, and then you just move it wherever you want. Very similar, right? Very similar. You would like to arrange it become smaller, and then you just angle. So we have four. Four independent variables. Yes. Okay, and then you select. It's very easy. <coughs> and then we have another two here. Yeah. Okay. If you would like to rename, change the names of the variables, you click on it, and then you click right, right side of the mouse, and then you have the word 
we name. Let us just rename it. Latent value one, two. to select one by one the apples. You just move and then you will move all of them together. And then you will have CSR. As I know, that's of the faculty or professor in South Asia, Malaysia, Vietnam, or they use the smart PLS very popular. And the Dong Aya Guo Jia, they use smart PLS. Because a couple of years ago, this uh, version 1, version 2 are free online. So that's of faculty in South Asia country, they just teach the smart PLS. But from that, from that year, 
papyrus free virgin free. Mm. You must buy it. So now you connect everything together. And then you start to connect the the constructs. Construct, yes. Yeah. That's our pace. change the color directly for you so after you connect everything and the data is correct. So now you need to change this one, for example like this one, you need to move it upstairs or downstairs, you need to change. A light indicator to talk, so you just move it top. This one is a less and move it down, maybe show it like and more similar. Right hand side you must, right? Yes, right hand side. So everything is on the right hand side. Oh. Okay, just change your direction of indicator and downsize this in one page. Let me try to make it more easy to understand. And change the formative, right? In here. Vacation to Roy Allen. So now everything is finished. And set the set. It's automatically set, set. once you create the project. So if you would like to set again, you can set us. Or, but normally they will automatically set for you. So this one, you remember this one. This is still reflective. So you need to change it into formative. You can change the errors from this side into this side. Yes. yes. So you just click on the left hand variables and then right hand side. Right side your mouse. And then they will ask you to be change switch between formative and reflective. Yes, yeah. So they will change yes. for you. Yeah. Again, yes. for this. Let me this one. This I prefer the function, right? Yeah, this you one. can change your indicate direction. Formative or directive. Okay? So this contract be defined as formative or reflective is very, very important. Okay? Based on your physical meaning. It's formative or reflective. It must define well. Okay? So this is to finish everything. And then you can click on calculate. Here as algorithms. <coughs> Just run it, right? So this is the the criteria default. So you don't need to do anything. And then you just start calculations. So they will run it for you very quick. And then you will get all the results, what you want. The pass. This is the pass. And this is the models. See the models, they will show you everything. So they will, they will show you uh, this one, data group complete. In the models, would you like to put the past coefficient, this one? Or you can change into total effects or F or whatever, but this is the default. Yes. Outers. Outer models, would you like to put outer weight or outer loading? So it's up to you. 
so they will change. You see, this outer weight. Or outer, outer, outer loading and outer weight. Constructs. A square. What is the outer loading? Outer loading is similar to factor loading. And normally the higher is must be, and the value is must be higher than 0.5. Yeah, it's the factors. The same as here, the loading. This is inside the construct. This is the product alpha you can put. Or you can choose the CR. Composite reliability. Yeah, composite reliability. Okay. Just we can correct composite reliability. Yeah. Or you can use AVE. Yes. It's also up to you too, AVE. Yeah, they will show in your yes. contract. Or ask where's adjusted in the link show. But normally they will choose the ask where <coughs> inside the link show. Before, right? Yeah, before one. Okay, so I will show you this one, the algorithm. You, should, you see on another one, algorithm. So in algorithm, they will show you the final result. So the final result that we have, sorry a moment. They have pass coefficients, indirect effect, cotos effect, outer loadings, outer weight, latent value, residues, F, R square. So all of these, they will calculate for you already. So it's just like pass coefficient the, the first one. So they will show you everything. It's very easy though. So for it's like attractiveness to competence, how many percentage? Or you can see from here. 0 0.086 in the right effects. You see a little different here. We have a f square. That's f value two, right? This f square. F square. Like we mentioned about a hierarchical regression, the f value improve. Okay, this r square. So r square or adjusted r square. Or you would like to know the construct reliability of a letter piece. Then you just click. They will show you go back our pass. I forgot this one. I forgot the name. How to pronounce it? Composite reliability or AVG. Yeah. So they will show you AVG. Yes. Discriminant analysis. They also show you as well. And they also discriminant analysis. They different. Okay. This one is for like of the theory. It's the correlations. Constructs. Cross loading. <coughs> Hector <coughs> road trace. Coliality is VIF. Yeah, should be lower than 5 or 10, right? In, in Smart TLS, they suggest it must be lower than 5. 5. Yes, in Smart TLS. So if some constructs are higher than five, they will highlight as the red color for you. Okay. So it's very convenient. That's an indicator for coordinate yes. okay? We describe it in 12.10 section in our regression, okay? So you must have a basic idea about regression, okay? This is advanced course. We don't need to measure so detail. So for example, like go back up fast. If it's too low, then they will highlight red for you. So everything that is not meet the criteria, might be as we highlight for you directly. A B this is graph. Yes. So smart here is very easy. So when you have the data, when you have the construct, it just runs less than five seconds. And if you would like to do the bootstrap, let me show you how to do the bootstrap. So you go to calculate, okay, you select bootstrap. Bootstrap. Yes. So normally bootstrap in smart here as they say at least you take five thousand. Five thousand. Yeah, five thousand. So here you need to add <coughs> one more zero, five thousand. And everything you need to keep the same. Or you can change. They say the basic bootstrap or complete bootstrap, the amount of results. Five run five thousand times and take the average. So the test is very tight. Okay? We separate five thousand times. And significant label is two tab, and also significant label is five lessons. And then you just start calculations. They will calculate for you. It depends on your computer speech. 